Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome back to my channel. I just got back from camping with my family. It was a beautiful week, um, but I am back today. So as I was unpacking, um, or about to unpack my bags, <clears throat> I thought it would be just, I don't know, on the whim here, <laughs> and show you what I actually pack when I go camping. Uh, my journaling and my Bible supplies. Um, again, this is like uh, the least amount of things that I have packed uh, just because I tend to overpack and take a lot of stuff that I think or I might use and then end up not using it. So I'm in a different angle today, so I'm going to try my best to stay within frame. Um, let's start with I guess let's start with this one because it has the least amount of stuff in here. So I always take my, um, and this is probably not interesting to you, but I take my extension cords because in our motorhome, I like to extend my length of connection so I can lay on the sofa and plug in my phone as I'm, <laughs> as I'm just lounging. Um, I did take my Battlefield of the Mind book. I did not get to read it just because we've been busy um, with family and I prefer, you know, uh, priority is my family. And so by the end of the evening, I'm, I'm the type that I get too exhausted by the evening. So I'm not apt to read in the evenings. I'm more apt to read in the mornings. So that's something to know about yourself if you struggle with trying to schedule some reading time. I took my Battlefield of the Mind Bible. This is one of my favorite Bibles. I have shown this, well, not a review, but I have, no, actually, I don't think I've shown this before, maybe on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, um, I am more active there, kind of like lately, not on a day-to-day -day basis, but at least I try to do it um, once a week. And then I go, again, I do it by when I feel led to, and so sometimes it's consecutive. Well, we shall see. But that's an awesome Bible that I love to read along with my Battlefield of the Mind book. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is one of my favorite Bibles. It's pretty old, and um, it's a Spirit-Filled Life Bible. And so that's all I have for here. And this bag, um, I think I saw it first with Sheree McGinnis here on YouTube, and she had it, and I really love the colors and so I got it I believe that's by Yarnology but it has a lot of pockets so it really helps to put all my um, you know extra stuff in there like pens and um, sticker packs this is the original bag I used to go camping but then when I was packing last night I just used the first bag available but this is from Yarnology and I think I got this from Hobby Lobby I want to say <clears throat> And then this bag I got, oh, long ago from JCPenney. Um, has just one pocket here and just a zip pocket, which I never use. But in here I have my mm, top pens that I use. I use my Jetstream 4-in-1 for my self-care for my Hobonichi weeks. Um, and that's basically where I love to use this pen, which is another, this is the Jetstream also, but this is the 1.0. And this is the 7.0. Um, yes, ink differences does make a difference or do make a difference. And this is the 5.0 uh, Jetstream. So I use these three for uh, for different, if I'm using Tomo Tomoe River paper, these are the pens that I use. And then depending on what I need it for, that's the pen I use. So I need finer point and I use the 0.5. And this is my Uniball Signal 0.5. I use that in my Stalogy for my planning. And then of course I use the Faber-Castell Extra Small for my gratitude. I know, lots of pens, but um, I, pref I don't mind because it's on my desk and so I just grab the pen that I need. In here I just have, um, and this is always kept in here because when I go camping, um, we went camping frequently this summer or anywhere that we go. I always need whiteout. I always need, um, you know, uh, this is, what do you call this? Oh my goodness, crafter's tape. 
<laughs> in case I need it. And then glue stick, just in case. Because sometimes I get it, you know, especially early morning, I want to craft. I have done that. Um, this is my washi. This is not all my washi. This is just a washi that I use in my faith journals. Just because these are thin and I love, you know, and they're decorative. Um, so these are all, I want to say, from Walmart. 99% of these are from Walmart when they have sold, you know, different sets. And so sometimes if I like a set, I'll double buy. But I keep them all in here. And this clear bag is from Walmart. If you go to the, uh, the women's makeup section, they usually have them there. They also have these thin ones that I, I also use. But this side is the shorter end or smaller side and the, I use the thicker washi the mo the ones that I use the most and so keep that in there and then there's a zipper here I don't really use it you know that you can put sorry I'm on a frame there and you, I you could put I don't know cards or whatever I also have this uh Deldi I think that's how you say it um pen case Portable. I always carry scissors, and that's everywhere I go. Um, I carry a card. This is just an old card for washi. I love these um, six-inch rulers, and I have those everywhere. Of course, my mile liners, and then my Sharpie pen. My Sharpie pen. I also have a Sharpie marker because I use these to write out my... Um, tabs you know and anything that I want to tab and then I always have an eraser so and this is from Pentel I think I got a set of three from Walmart once upon a time because my four-in-one pen my Jetstream has uh, an eraser but it's so tiny and I, I don't like to use those because it's you know no. anyway here's my paint pink Pentel that I use for my grandbaby because she visited and just highlighters so um, what else? I have my self-care journal. Yeah, if you've not seen that, that's my Hobonichi Weeks. That's on my playlist. I took my um, A6 Stalogy, and this is for just common, it's kind of like a commonplace book. I write anything that doesn't go in my planner. I write notes, thoughts, brain dumps, um, even though I have a brain dump book. I, this is just whatever. If I, because sometimes I feel like, I don't know, like if I have something to write, I'm over here looking for a piece of paper. Or where do I write this? Because it doesn't belong in my planner. doesn't belong in my faith uh, journal. So that's just kind of my catch all, I guess, my book. This is a be still and know. This is my devotion. I've shown that before. Again, I have faith journal playlist um, on my YouTube channel. This is my planner. Now I will say, look at my pages. I have nothing on over here on this side. Even though I have everything here, what I'll do is I have to play catch up, like big time. <laughs> and I generally don't do that. I just been, I don't know, just haven't been wanting to, you know, and it happens and it's okay. Um, Cause I have to be okay with that because if not, I stress out that oh my you know my planner isn't updated but I am going to take uh you know a day maybe Sunday and just you know run some YouTube videos or some shows and just draw this is my faith journal my b6 slim I'm really enjoying this um oh, upside down um and just really enjoying working in this having this in one book I've been contemplating maybe putting this together because I have not written out, um, you know, my November pages. I don't, I don't, I don't foresee that happening because I love this Tomoe River paper, but I also now love the Stalogy paper. So in my mind, if I want to use two things, I, you know, I don't have to choose whether to do one book. If I want to use this paper, then I just create things, you know, in this notebook. So 
I hope that sounds clear. It's just if I if there's something that I want to use, I don't force myself to plan a certain way. I just create another notebook in that specific notebook because, you know, why not? So therefore, I'm always using what I love and not get bored with one notebook. Again, this is my brain dump notebook that I took, which Somebody asked me for a piece of paper and I was, I froze. I'm like, I don't think I have paper. I mean, I have tons of paper, but not to give out. <laughs> so thank God I have my, that, my brain dump. And this I bought at General, let me see, Dollar General. And these were like for a dollar. And they might've been cheaper. I had no idea. My husband paid for them. So just composition notebooks. I always buy composition. This is B6 size. And sometimes I'll chop it down to B6 slim. But anytime I see composition notebooks, I love, love, love. So this is just an old, um, uh, let me see, Paper Paper Penguin Co. I think the company is. Um, it's an old B6 Slim with Tamoy River paper. I've been wanting to journal it in here, but and I have, but I just took it just in case. I always take stickers, so let me see what's in there. <laughs> I always take stickers and so I have tons of stickers um, so I just took whatever was you know that was I don't know these are the smaller packs so something that would fit in here last time I went camping I took a bunch of happy planner stickers about that much and it made my bag so heavy so I you know what I didn't end up using them <clears throat> but I like to take it just in case so these are just um, post-its or no, just a little notepad that I got, I don't even know from where, um, years ago. But in case I like to, if I need to write extra notes, um, tip it in. I think it was, I wanted to tip it in in my faith journal. But that's it. And the inside, I got this again, I'm not sure if I mentioned it, years ago from JC JCPenney. Um, it was a gift from my daughter. She gave me a gift card. And so, and it's kind of has that, I don't know, like, like refrigerated you know, those insulated bags. And I thought the bag was, um, you can use it, you know, inside out, but apparently I tried and it didn't work. <laughs> but that's all I have. You guys have a great day till next time.